Hey, hey everyone, it is Havohai here bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We're talking JP, and I wanted to actually do this video last night when all this information dropped, but uh, you know me, I like to go in-depth. So this is going to be a breakdown video of all the uh, Universal uh, Survival Saga, uh, or Tournament of Power, however you want to call it, uh, the brand new cards that are dropping on JP, really in the next few days here. So uh, there's new information out right now. Um, you know, talking about uh, uh, the Dokkan Fest uh, with uh, Jiren and Goku, but I'll, I'll cover a little bit about that in the banner as well. So let's kind of get started. Uh, this is really what dropped last night, um, and everyone was uh, pretty excited. It's a weird time, uh, 9.40 Pacific uh, uh, Daylight Time is kind of where we're at right now, not Pacific sa Savings Time. So make sure you guys understand uh, the, the times that are dropping. So 9.40 p.m. Pacific uh, Daylight Time. Is when they're dropping, so that's kind of weird. Uh, 940 is when it's dropping, so uh, interestingly enough, there. So, uh, but with that, uh, we're gonna go through uh, all these cards, like I said, in detail, I'll break it down for you guys. Uh, starting really quickly, uh, you guys probably have seen this as nauseum. Uh, at nauseum. Uh, JP's gonna get LR Vegito Blue. If you guys don't know how to get this character, I did a video on what we call the Fierce Battle Conundrum. Uh, basically, Fierce Battle is what you're going to be needing. Uh, Fierce Battle cards and units is what you're going to be needing to LR this amazing, amazing free-to-play. Um, uh, he's definitely not obsolete. He's a really great card on Global, and he'll still be uh, a fantastic on JP as well. So, uh, so we already know this, and feel free to check out my previous videos for the information on how to LR uh, LR Vegito Blue. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the first cards, the brand new cards here, and that. That is, we're going to start off with Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Um, this is her Dokkan Awakening from the original, uh, uh, her SSR to TUR. And uh, let's go ahead and look at this Limitless Growth Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Um, she, uh, you know, she's okay. She's a rainbow leader. Uh, she's going to be all types plus 2 HP and tackle defense 70%. So she's a god lead minus 1 key. So still pretty good right now with neo gods and categories it's not too viable but if you guys are free to play and kind of starting out the game uh, she still provides a really good uh, leader skill there uh, to uh, to be you know, you know kind of in the middle ground of, uh, of the current meta so uh, her super attack is crash cannons uh, causes supreme damage which is kind of uh, uh, kind of disappointing there uh, 30% to defense for three turns is what her super attack is. Her passive skill, remarkable adaptability. Uh, her attack is plus 90% from up from plus 70%, with a high chance of evading the attack, including super attacks, and a medium or a medium chance of evading a super attack uh, and countering with enormous power. So enormous power is 200%, uh, different from tremendous power. Uh, and her high chance, I believe, uh, her high chance. Let me double check, make sure that I have this information right for you guys. Her uh, her high chance is 50%, and then her both evading the super attack is uh, and countering with the super attack is 30%. All right, so so still a good solid unit. Um, a little bit underwhelming with that 90% there, but she has a really defensive me mechanic and her counting her ability that makes her very, very viable. So, uh, so definitely, uh, uh, you know, Dokkan awakening this individual. And I think most of everyone ha maybe has this card because she's been around for quite a long time. So, uh, so global look forward to her Dokkan awakening there as well. So, uh, link skills are there. Category she's Peppy Gals and the Universe Survival Saga. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next card here, and that's Kale, Physical Kale. Dokkan Awakens in this card art, which looks amazing. Uh, so she is the Vicious Awakening Kale, Berserk. Uh, her leader skill is actually very interesting. Her leader skill is Physical plus, plus 2 to key, HP and attack defense 90%. So she has LR, uh, your OG LR uh, leader skill, uh, LR God leader skills minus one key uh, LR trunks is plus three to key HP and attack defense 90% so she's a substitute in a sense for LR trunks which is pretty amazing on that leader skill there for just a TUR so so man I feel bad for all the people spending the dollars on LRs but 
uh, those leader skills are becoming a little bit more obsolete. So, but the uh, but her super attack, gigantic impact, causes immense damage to enemies and lowers defense. Uh, so she is immense damage, which is a lot better. Uh, her passive skill is true appearance of a Saiyan attack 120% and launches an additional attack with a great chance to become a super. So that is really solid. Uh, the great chance uh, is being, let's see here, is, uh, actually I don't have that information. I forget what the great chance is. I think it could be over 50% chance on doing that. And she has a 12 key multiplier there. So uh, so she's an amazing card. I just noticed I didn't put the categories on there. She's going to be Peppy Gals and a Universal uh, Saga. So uh, Universal Tournament uh, Saga there, Survival Saga. Uh, so solid card. I think she's better because of her passive than the Khalifla. And she's going to be definitely more usable in the uh, in the Universal Survival Saga team, which we're in a sense going to be talking about in a bit. So we're going to move on next to the uh, Kefla. So Kefla came out, and she was one of those cards that was a um, category lead, but not Dokkan Awakens. She Dokkan Awakens in this bad boy, action packed. Uh, actually made a card uh, that looked very similar to this Kefla here. So the Dokkan Awakened one. Great card art, looks great. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the stats there. Donning Supernova, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Uh, her leader skill is uh, pretty great. Uh, her She's a Patara leader. So Patara category lead plus 3 key, HP, attack, and defense 150%. So she, in a sense, is the non LR lead of uh, LR Vegito, uh, Int Vegito. Um, so her her category lead is amazing. Uh, so she can run if you did if you didn't put L, if you didn't pull LR Vegito like myself uh, on my main main account that is on my free to play I did. Uh, she's a great substitute as a leader. So her super attack is gigantic blast causes immense damage, which is good, and uh, um, greatly lowers defense. Her passive skill is uh, stimulating combat strength. Uh, her her passive really didn't change too much. Uh, which is disappointing. Uh, so her key spheres, uh, or she's she changes. Uh, she's an orb changer from int key spheres to physical key spheres. Uh, attack and defense, 12% per physical orb obtained, and then a medium chance to evade the enemy's attack, including super attack, and launches a additional attack with a high chance of becoming a super attack. So, uh, so she's still an amazing unit. She was already uh, an amazing unit before, but. But now, uh, she's pretty, pretty incredible, um, uh, and I would definitely use her on the Universal Survival Saga um, uh, team there. So if you don't have Kefla, I'm sure she's going to be on the banner that's coming up. I'm going to kind of show you kind of what I'm guessing the banner may look like. So let's talk about the man of the hour, though. Let's talk about... Uh, Finally, finally, we got a Jiren card, and if you guys are, we're, we're, we're coming down to end on Dragon Ball Super, we know how OP and how amazing Jiren is, well guess what, his card, his SSR card, because uh, he doesn't TUR yet, we'll see what happens, um, this card is amazing, so the Invincible Myth of Universe 11 Jiren, um, leader skill, Universal Saga, uh, survival Saga, plus 2 to key, HP and attack defense 120, and uh, Strength key, plus 2 HP, attack and defense 40%. So, uh, very similar to Realm of Gods, uh, Ultra Instinct, Omen, Goku. Uh, well, not very similar, pretty exactly the same except for the category. And uh, the surprising thing, he's actually super type. So, man, rip, rip extreme. We haven't had a lot of extreme. Uh, uh, great cards really since like strength uh, rose so rips rip uh, 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 extreme so hopefully they'll have a bunch of extreme cards coming out but it's, it's no not surprising he's super but kind of surprising as well so his super attack power impact causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense his passive skill adjusts from strength all right get ready for this so at the start of the turn he gets attack and defense 120 percent with a medium chance to stun all enemies. That's right. He has a chance, 33 point, or 33% chance to stun everybody. So Super Battle Road, easy peasy. <laughs> this is going to be possibly really easy if you run this 
a, a character on Super Battle Road, and uh, yeah, he he's a beast. He is a beast, and once again, this is the non Dokkan Awaken, and and as we know, we're gonna be able to should be able to Dokkan Awaken him and UI Goku Omen. Um, uh, hopefully, possibly sooner than later. So we have some information on the news right now, but you know we'll actually take a look at that uh, a little bit later. So, so on top of that, we also have some uh, support units that we're getting as well. So this is really the coup de gras. This is the card that we all want. Uh, but there are some support units that uh, they came out with here. So this is the SR2 SSR Kale. So this is the uh, Int. Greater Mind and Body Super Saiyan 2 Kale, uh, Leader Scale, you know, underwhelming int uh, type, plus 2 HP attack defense 30%, and she causes supreme damage and lowers defense on her super attack. However, she is the support unit for uh, Universal Saga. Her, her, she provides uh, the category, all allies, uh, Universal Saga category allies, plus 2 to key attack and defense 30%. So she is going to be... Uh, uh, that support unit, so she's definitely viable. I'm guessing she's going to be an SR summonable versus a uh, free to play. Not sure, but typically, if it's a support card like this, it's going to be summonable. So she's going to be one of those like SR summonable. So she'll be able to get her fairly easily uh, if you're going to summon on banners. So, uh, but definitely get at least one copy of her uh, so she can be that support unit on there. The second, uh, so. Uh, I thought it was going to be a support unit, I kind of read it wrong, was really excited for Strength uh, Khalifla, but uh, she ends up actually being a little bit underwhelming. She is the motivated for battle Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, uh, Strength plus 2 to key, HP and Tactical is 30%, uh, causes supreme damage to enemy, uh, defense uh, plus 30% with on one turn. Her passive skill, I thought it was for every Universal Saga character on your team, they get a buff up to 80% attack and then 60% for evade. But it was trans or transvade, or I kind of read it wrong. It's actually for every Universal Saga on the character on the team, Khalifla gets up to 80% attack and chance to evade up to 60%. So. Uh, so it's 80% attack with a 60% to evade if you have more than, in a sense, four uh, uh, Universal Saga characters on here. So not too bad. Uh, she'll be kind of the medium. She might be a free-to-play card, so they might provide her as a free-to-play part of the storyline there. But she also can be that uh, that strength, uh, or not strength, but the, that SR summonable. So you might have two SR summonables on the banner there. So, But all in all, she's okay. She Once again, she's an SR um uh, uh to she's a sr to uh, ssr so uh with a base form to uh, super saiyan 2 khalifa there so the next one here is actually there's a couple frames i'm going to be showing you some of the slides where it's going to be actually this kaba here so remember this original kaba base form kaba he dokkan awakens into or just he awakens into the uh super saiyan kaba but then this super saiyan kaba now dokkan awakens into this uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kaba, so Pride Awoken from a Struggle, weird uh, name on top there, Super Saiyan 2 Kaba, uh, Tech Type, plus 2 to key, HP and Tech Defense 30%, so you kind of see the pattern there, the 30% uh, leads on there, uh, Saiyan, uh, what is that, Ob Obstancy, uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and then my roll passive skill. His passive skill is interesting. He actually might be viable on a team, uh, um, especially on the Universal Saga team here. His attack is only 80%. However, however, uh, for every Universal Saga character on your team, he gets an increase into his critical hit by 7% up to um, up to 49%. So if you have a maxed out so if you're running uh, a full-on Universal Saga team, then he's going to get 49% crit chance. So very similar to LR Truck. So you know, could be very viable here. We'll, we'll actually you know have to have to test him out, but uh, he could be somebody that you can actually use there. So now, last but not least, on the new cards that were uh, announced, uh, we have the Indomitable Beliefs Android 18. She's going to be kind of like one of these throwaway SSR cards on here, uh, uh, 
tech type, plus two HP and attack defense, fifty percent, causes supreme damage, uh, and raises defense by thirty percent for six turns. Feelings for her husband and daughter. Her passive skill is uh, attack and defense fifty percent, and then she's an orb changer, and then weirdly enough, additional attack plus twelve percent for rainbow. So she changes uh, her the orbs from physical to tech, but buffs up with rainbow orbs. So that's kind of odd there. Uh, so she's probably just going to be on the banner, very similar to uh, Android 17, uh, as a tech type there. So that is basically what uh, these new cards look like, uh, dropping in a couple days. I kind of just went over really quickly what the Realm of Gods team, in a sense, might look like with Jiren on the uh, on the team here. So you kind of see here uh, the Realm of Gods with Ultra Instinct Goku, Ultra Instinct Omen. Goku uh, with Jiren on there, man, it's just looking, looking mighty, mighty amazing. OP there. It's uh, getting better and better with all these uh, cards on there. However, the Universal Saga, the Universal uh, Survival Saga, uh, with Jiren as a leader, it's looking okay. It needs definitely a little bit of help there. Uh, you got uh, Kefla. Uh, we got Khalifla, you got that new Kaba there, and then you're running Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, and with the support lead with Super Saiyan 2 uh, Kale there. So, uh, the reason why you don't put, um, uh, Golden Frieza is because he provides minus 15% to all super types, and all those individuals there are super types. So, eh, you know, unfortunately he drops out there. You can run a double support, because Topo provides support. 30% uh, buff there, uh, or you can run even a hit there. So, yeah, it's it's, it's not amazing, this team, but it, it can get up there once uh, uh, Ultra Instinct uh, Dokkans, and, of course, when Jiren Dokkans as well. So now on the banner, we found out that uh, from from the news that Ultra Instinct is going to be on the banner. It's going to be kind of like a dual Dokkan, dual, dual Dokkan fest. Uh, hopefully it's going to be on one banner versus multiple banners. But I think this banner is going to look, uh, hopefully I can say on one banner alone, going to look like something like this. You're going to have um, uh, these featured cards. Uh, the top ones are the ones that you probably want, definitely want there. And then kind of the mediocre ones in the middle. And then you kind of have these SRs kind of uh, messing up those rates there. So uh, so that's what I think this, this, this banner might look like. Uh, or it could be a little bit more limited where it might they might not have all the... Uh, Universal Saga cards feature, maybe just kind of in the background there, but we will see what the possible banner looks like. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Ultra Instinct is going to be on the banner. I just hope it's not, a, like I said, a dual Dokkan fest where there's two banners. So I, I haven't really read up on it quite yet. So and this is just in a sense breaking news. So uh, so anyway, yeah, that's basically the new brand new cards. Hopefully this was. Uh, a in depth, a nice in depth breakdown for you guys. Uh, showed you guys what the teams might look like. Uh, uh, finally, after three year anniversary, we got some some new stuff uh, because it was kind of a lull for a couple weeks, but that's normal for uh, for Dokkan. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the content and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, uh, I'm pretty close to a thousand subs. So, uh, keep on Dokkani. We'll catch you next time.